Hi guys, it's Angela from Kelly Mom Collects and today I have another jewelry bag to open for you guys. So for anybody that doesn't know, I am a part-time reseller on eBay and I buy these jewelry bags or boxes or jars, whatever I can find and I buy jewelry in bulk to resell on my eBay store. So this bag right here is at about eight pounds and let's get into it. Let's see what's in this bag. Hopefully some good stuff. So I'm gonna pour it out and then show you guys pieces one by one. Oh, jewelry everywhere. Okay. Ooh, let's get it out of the way. All right, first we have this modern looking bib necklace with this enamel checkered style, navy blue, black and cream colors, gold tone. The gold tone is in great condition. This looks very modern and stylish to me. I like it. Ooh, we've got a vintage necklace. It looks like all the stones are there. They're kind of like an olive green color, like a light olive green color. This is really pretty. And it says Lisner. This is beautiful and is it it's in excellent condition. And all the rhinestones, yay. I hate it when you get a vintage necklace and it's missing rhinestones. Such a bummer. A Jamaica cuff bracelet. We have this gold tone necklace. Kind of has the matte and the shiny gold tone pieces. I don't see any makers on this. But there's that. We've got a cute Minnie Mouse watch, Loris, and it says Disney down at the bottom. It's on a red band, genuine leather, Hadley Roma. So this watch is in really good condition. It's super cute. All right, let's scoot out for this one. Okay, so this is a statement necklace. This one looks nice. It has this thick link chain
I'm not seeing any marks on it. But it has like these red acrylic bubbled cabochon. This one's pretty. No marks, but this one's super pretty. Okay, this is interesting. So we have like a Roman Greek warrior. Cause he's got like the helmet on. And it's very, has just like that brutalist look with these, this pendant. That's an odd, that doesn't even look like it goes. This piece right there, it's like a bronze color and the rest is this like very um, vintage silver looking. The chain is light. Looked like it had a tag of some sort there that must have fallen off. So, it looks vintage to me. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's magnetic. This is still really interesting and I like it. I think this would sell for sure. Roman warrior. Okay, we have a rhinestone necklace with these champagne and gray colors on a silver tone chain. And this one is Banana Republic. That's what that, let's see if I can show you the BR, Banana Republic. Great condition. This one's super pretty. Alright guys, what is this? We have got a Louis Vuitton belt buckle. Do we think it's real? It's heavy. It feels substantial. But I don't know. I'm not an expert on Louis Vuitton belt buckles. It feels heavy and nice. I don't know guys. Ooh, turquoise. I love turquoise. Okay, so this one has like um, almost silver-like inclusions in there, crystal formations. And that one too. This one's different. I've never seen those pieces inside turquoise before. Another one over here. These look like sterling silver pieces because I can see the bit of tarnish. So they are graduating sizes. This almost looks like in the vintage Native American style, they would do this a lot. The smaller beads and then the bigger 
chips down here. This one's really interesting. I like this. Oh, does that say something? I think that says something. Oh yeah, it is silver. It says 925 right here. Right. Can you see it? Right there. I love this piece. More than likely, this piece will be going into my collection. I like it too much. We have a braided seed bead necklace. And it's actually, a lot of times I get these and they're falling apart. But this one is all attached, seems to be in good condition. No makers on it. Well, this is gorgeous. This is a beautiful rhinestone necklace. Look at, and I think all of the rhinestones are attached and it looks to be in good condition. beautiful. No makers, but this necklace is gorgeous. Okay, more rhinestones. So let me scoop back out because this piece is different. So I think it's a choker. I think that this part would go on the neck. Then you have these two big pieces and then it hook, hook clasp in the back. No makers on it, it's the gold tone. That's my thoughts. It's too big to be a bracelet, so I think that this is a necklace, a choker necklace. Pretty. Oh my goodness, guys, what is this? So, gold tone looks vintage to me we have this snake pendant guarding the apple it's almost reminds me of like the forbidden apple from adam and eve it looks like there might be some this looks like it might be ceramic and there's a little bit of chipping here at the very tip The gold tone is in good condition. And I can smell perfume coming from this. This is a vintage perfume, like a solid perfume pendant. That's pretty cool. A little bit of fuzz on the chain. I wonder if this piece is from Avon. Let me see if I see any marks. No marks, no tags, but this is pretty cool. I haven't come across something like this yet. The snake's all coiled up. That's awesome. Okay, 
We have this acrylic bead necklace. It's very long. Let's see. Oh, I'm out as far as I can go. Okay. Let's try to get this in. So we've got the clear and the grays and some what have the crackle design. And I can see that it is a brand new Leah Sophia piece. Awesome. All right, we have this silver tone necklace with these blue stones. I'm trying to figure out if this is vintage. It looks vintage to me and it looks a little misshapen. Okay, I'm bending it back in hopes that I don't break it. That's better. It was a little bit misshapen. Let's see, no makers. But this piece is pretty and very vintage looking. It's at least in the vintage style. Pretty. The silver tone is good, and this piece is very interesting. Now, this brooch is. This brooch is awesome. A little chip on the paint there, but I love this piece. I don't see any makers on it. And it's the enamel paint. Looks vintage to me. This is awesome. All right, this necklace is super long. The beads are very, very bright and vibrant. Look at how colorful this necklace is. They feel glass. No marks, a little bit dirty. I can see some of the beads are pretty dirty. This piece looks vintage as well. And there it is, super long. I think you could probably even double it. For sure, You, it is long enough to double. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. But look at the colors. This piece is awesome. Okay, we have a bag. Let's see. What is inside, if I can open it up? Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. We've got some earrings. Red earrings. Glass. We've got a glass dangle heart, a puffy red heart on a silver tone wire. And then these ones, they're faceted so that the petals sparkle. On a gold tone back, I don't see marks on either, but these are beautiful. Similar colors. I'll put them back in the bag so I don't lose those. Okay. This one's new. The brand is Influence. 
and they are acrylic it's a statement necklace acrylic and it has like that lace look at the back so it's the black back that makes it look like lace that's pretty cool We have a watch from Target, $12.99, exhilaration, still in the pack. It's broken, case is broken, but there's that. We have another bag. So these kind of feel like a resin. That's what it feels like to me. Rhinestone flowers. No marks. This one's Jones, New York. And it's a silver tone with this pretty rhinestone drop pendant. Adjustable top. That one is pretty. Okay, this looks awesome. This looks very interesting. Is it silver? Okay, let's get in close. It's like a jaguar on a branch. And it has the marcasite. And the long tail. I don't see any marks. Let's check it. It's not magnetic. So I will test this one and let you guys know, but this piece looks awesome. It looks very vintage to me. We have some earrings. We have some big rhinestone earrings that are missing a couple rhinestones. That's a bummer because those were big and heavy and pretty. We have some twisted hoop earrings that I'm going to see if they're magnetic because those look like they could be silver. Little tree of life earrings and some cute elephant earrings. Those ones are interesting. Let's see if these are magnetic. Nope. The elephants are. I will check the earrings to see if they are silver. Okay, this piece is super interesting. It has a enamel top and then these beads in the shape of like the sphere almost. Brass tone chain, long. Definitely different. Okay, so this looks 
like an acrylic bracelet. But it's interesting. How does this go on? Okay. It kind of looks like egg yolk amber. It has some, I see some stuff going on on the inside. I don't know. This one's got me stumped. It's got the swirls. I'm gonna check it to see if it's amber. I don't know, may not be, but if not, it's probably just an acrylic, acrylic piece. If you guys have seen something like this before, let me know. Okay, this is really different. This looks like pottery. And it looks like there was dried flowers in there at one point, almost like a wall, reminds me of a wall face. And it even is marked, it has a PP. So I don't know if this is like an artesian pottery piece made into a pendant and necklace. It's pretty interesting. And then last, oops, let's scoot out. We have this kind of retro style vintage acrylic bead necklace with the enamel and that says Trafari. Let's see, can you see it? So this is a Trafari piece very retro looking to me. So that is it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back my favorites and end this video. All right guys, these are my favorites. Lots of awesome statement necklaces in this lot and lots of really neat vintage pieces. Um, this Roman soldier pendant is interesting. These brooches I love. This necklace with the snake and the apple. Um, of course, the turquoise necklace, one of my favorites. This Lisner piece. These glass, colorful glass beads. Louis Vuitton belt buckle, maybe. Well, I'm always so skeptical of stuff like that because as sellers, we cannot sell something that is not real. And so I'm always so unsure about stuff like that but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this lot of jewelry and if you are not please subscribe and until next time guys thank you for watching bye